Biday. I'm Eduardo Soberano Jr., 39 years old, butcher here in the Philippines. And today, I will perform or I will perform and identify the primal cuts of beef carcass. What we have here is the four quarter of beef carcass and beside is the hind quarter. As I start, I need to sterilize first my utensils. So I need a boiling water. So boiling water, I will put uh, this hot water into my utensils so it will be sterilized. I, have, I don't have fat. Make sure that all utensils be sterilized in a hot water. So, then I will put it aside. And then I'll take my knife, my hand saw, my steel, and then boning knife. And put it aside again. Here in front of me is a pork quarter, the right side, right side of the beef carcass. As start, I will mark my car. Uh, I will mark. I will mark this. I will mark this uh, pork quarter here and here. Then I will use my hand saw to cut it to take the plate and the brisket. This is a uh, freshly slaughtered beef carcass, male carcass, uh, male cow. There you go, and I will count. From, uh, I will count the bone from here. One, two, three, four, five. Then between the fifth and the sixth bone, I will slice it through.
So what we have here is the plate. Scimitar to cut, to cut through this So we have here is the ribs, maybe it's too short for the ribs and what uh, subprimal cuts we can get from the ribs is the ribeye, this ribeye uh, ribeye steak. Ribeye steak. What we have here is the brisket and then the chop and the chunk. So, before taking off this first, we'll take off this chunk. So, from here, as you can see, we will uh, slice it here and then we'll make V-shape, V-shape cut from here to take the shank off. So slice it here, then take a V-shape here. There's the knuckle or the joint that connecting from the shunt. All you need to do is to cut it out. And this is a very maybe a difficult part of the beef carcass taking off this so here we go we have our shot then we will take off we'll be taking off this brisket so just follow this line all we have to do is follow this line through So we have here is our brisket, small.
small brisket. And what we have left is the chop. The chop is composed of shoulder blade and the neck. Actually, it's very difficult to butcher uh, a, fresh a fresh carcass because it's too slippery and I don't have my hook and a mesh wire to protect my hand so all we have to do is be careful on cutting This is the chop. And as I continue, I will break down the hind quarter. The hind quarter is composed of the loin, the plank, the round, and the shank. So first, I had to move, uh, remove the plant. So this is the plant. What we can get in the plug is the plank steak. The plank. And then we'll take the loin. So from here and then the end part of the the end part of the backbone. So uh, first I will cut it with my hand saw here from this uh, part we have here is the connecting uh, connecting bone Scimitar, I will slice it through to separate the loin from the rump uh, round. So, what we have here is the rump and then the loin and then the tenderloin. This is the loin. Plank, round. Then we will take it. I will take it out the shank again. So the shank is from underneath from the, the knee 
slice it, it slice it through. Then you will see the joint here. The joint. So that is the joint that connecting from the round. Then slice it down. So this is the shank. And this is the round. What we can get on the round is the top flat, the silver side. So that is the subprimal cut that we can get in the round. Now this is around the hindquarter shank. The rump, the tenderloin, and the loin, and the plump. So, this is the part of the hind quarter. For the fore quarter, we have here is the brisket, the chuck. the plate and the ribs and the shank so this is the pri uh, primal cuts of the beef carcass so I'm done thank you very much